Okay, and we're back. So, I got a Braviary. It's a little underleveled, but you know what? I needed a flying type. And then I found a shiny Sneasler. Just a random shiny hissy wind Sneasler, and I evolved it. That's the team for right now. So, yeah. So what were we doing? Let's see, this way. Fly. Fly. Why did you switch to this? Okay. Life isn't fell. What a pleasure. Finding a familiar face or any face in this far corner of the Alabaster Islands. I came to bring Garrick an order of sword caps, and he was more than willing to have a chat about Evelyn. What do you say? Interested in a bit of gossip? Ooh, dish. And why wouldn't you be? So Avalon guessed, the fifth of Hisui's nobles. That he is, and you know what? He's an absolute beast. Oh yes, according to what I was told, not only does he barrage with chunks of ice, he also fires off massive icicles, and he causes sharp ice crystals to erupt from the ground below you. That's a lot of ice. Doesn't that seem a bit too powerful to take on? What's more, apparently the blog of old could be up to a hundred feet tall. Damn. Doesn't seem a bit too big to take on. Oh, you'd be all right. You just have to eat some sword caps and give your tra training your all. Like, yeah, that's going to work. We're going to fight a hundred foot tall ice monster with push-ups and mushrooms. Nothing better for building muscle than that. Onward now, to the arena. Hmm, yes, well, I didn't want to see that Avalog, but perhaps not the cost of my life. So, suppose freezing my digits and I will be off. I missed a... Cannot talk. I don't know what's wrong with me. Oop. Flying... Avoiding the giant machamp. <coughs> Excuse me. So we were to quell Avalog as you wished. In the end, the strength of your feelings won out. Or maybe your real strength comes from the way you two walk amongst both people and Pokemon. Well, I suppose I'd better get going. I'd better get to work making some bombs using that eternal ice. I've heard how they are made, and with muscles like mine, it'll be only a moment's work. And there you have it. If you truly wish to quell Avalog, walk on. The path lies before you. But another Avalog will hold chunks of ice at you without relent. You'll need unrivaled dodging ability. Oh, I'm screwed then. Dramatic. Also, I'm losing all my toes walking around in sandals in the ice. Whoa. Jesus Christ. How? Oh dear. That's a big boy. That's bigger than I expected. Oh, I can't break those. Dodge to the right. Dodge to the left. I'm not making any progress. Okay, I'm making a little progress. Okay, Jesus Christ. All right. 
Give me an opening. Well, damn it. He's relentless. Okay. All right, all right. Uh, Sneezer, you go. All right, all right, all right. Just get it as hard as you can before. Okay. There we go. As hard as you can. Right, get back here. This isn't too bad. I can, I can deal with this. Right, now, don't even attack. Just dodge. Alright, alright. I got it. I got it. I got it. Barrel roll. Alright, all right, I got it. And once again, close combat all the way. Down to half. What are you doing? Oh, you're just going from the other direction. Oh, you're doing bo I didn't know he could do that. That's cheap. Continue. I'm not going. Is this gonna mean he's back at half? Okay, he is. All right. Let's dodge, dodge, dodge. Why is he not doing the below me thing now? Oh, there it is. Okay, okay. Do, do, do. I got it, I got it, I got it. This is the easy part. I get him at least down another quarter health. I got him down another quarter health. So if I, if I do die, which is probably likely, I'm, I can I can do this. Just gotta follow the pattern. And God, you're predicting.
Oh, come on. I don't... Okay, I got him down to a quarter health, though. Man, this guy's kicking my ass. I got too greedy. Okay, keep progress. Why would you go from the start? Unless you're trying to be in an epic game. Alright, side to side, you little ice curl stupid thing. Try to attack to stop. Ah. Really? Those things get me every time. Hmm. Alright, that's the easy one now. And now we can attack. Last one. At least it'll be very close. Just keep throwing. There we go. Oh. God, that takes big. You received the ice for three. Garrick, sir, you needn't look quite so downcast. But seeing Almighty Avalog quelled it by such a slight child, a child that fell from the very sky. Is this fell boy some kind of monster in disguise? He is no monster. He's the only one who risked his he's the one who risked his life without a second thought in order to quell our frenzied suffering nobles. I had lots of second thoughts, and a third thought, and a fourth thought, and they were all why are you sending the kid to fight monsters? <coughs> Garrett cares for the Pearl Clan with all his heart, and believes his all and believes in Almighty Seno just as deeply. So he has feared more than any of us that getting involved with the Diamond Clan and your galaxy team would cause our people to flag in their devotion of the Almighty Sinnoh. But that will change. Hear it? I know your feels will change once we see what I've seen. Fel has much to teach us. He's shown us how we can overcome all manner of strife as long as our Pokemon are with us. He's made me want to help Glaceon realize greater strength as well and to see my whole world become broader. Seems you've already changed, Jirida. I knew you could pull that off, Phil. You've quelled every last frenzied noble. So is the space-time space -time rift going to start closing up now, or what? There's little way of knowing for sure. Well, the rift does some does seem perhaps a little smaller somehow. Let's hope so anyway. Well, with any luck, things will settle down now. So even if the rift does start spitting out more of the strange lightning, we should still be alright as long as we've got fell. <coughs> I ate before this, now I'm all gurgly. I shouldn't have done that. Indeed, we should. 
It's good to have him at our side. You know something, Yurida? We never, we may never agree on who's got it right about all my sins, but you Carl Clan float aren't all bad in my book. Look who's finally seen reason. Anyway, now that we've quelled the last noble, I say we pay grim old Commander Kamado a visit and see if he's finally, he'll finally crack a smile for us. All right. This is where I'm supposed to go, right? Return to the village. Yep, this is where I'm supposed to be. for the five billion time. Each of the Pokemon novels became frenzied, and now each of them has been quelled. <clears throat> we still have no explanation for why this calamity befell us, but I'm glad to see it put to an end. And I think peace would be restored to his way by the hand of our mysterious Rift-born helper. When tomorrow dawns, will dawn on a world restored to normalcy. At long last, we will be able to return to our normal lives. Go, nourish yourself at the Wallflower, and allow yourself a good long rest. Don't forget, the Survey Corps' work is not over. It does not end until our people can live here in Hisui without fearing the Pokemon around us. Thanks for the nice, sizable helping of Potato Mochi, Benny old chump. And if there's anything else that you'd recommend, by all means, bring it out. I only know how to cook the one thing. Having nobles all quelled puts a grave threat, threat to rest. Now it's time we focus on our survey work. But we still can't let our guard down around regular wild Pokemon, of course. I certainly had my reservations as to whether Avalog needed quelling. It means bringing calm to everyone, and I suppose we did the right thing. Yes, someone might have been under attack by some frenzied nobles at this very moment if Fel had come falling out of the sky to us. I still wonder though, just what is the space-time rift anyway? And what will make it finally go? Wait, if the rift were to vanish, would that leave Fel stranded here? That's a good question. <laughs> I don't know. Well, our little team is certainly very practiced at investigating things by now. We'll look into the matter and find a solution, I have no doubt. And even if we don't, we'll always have a home here in Jubilee Village. Well. Now then, tomorrow's soon upon us, and it'll be another hard day at work for the survey corps. Don't forget what we've caught, got what we got our sights on. Nothing less than a completed Pokedex. That's right, we'll get it done, and we'll found the lead, and me as the Valiant Assistant. Assistant, come on! Don't say you're so short. You're a full-fledged member of the Survey Corps, too. Well, thanks for that, Professor. And I guess I'd better eat my fill and get plenty of energy for another di long day tomorrow.
Oh. I bought a washing machine and a lawnmower. <laughs> They're the items used to uh, change. Rotom, see, like, where, where is my Rotom? I think I have an alpha one. There's a lawnmower. Yeah, that's what they're for. There's two more I haven't gotten yet. Oh, that's not good. Pretty, though. Fell. Well, shit. <laughs> Some sort of dreadful energy seems to be pouring from the rift in space time. Now the entire sky has gone red. I have word from the commander. You're to, you're to report to his office at once. The way the sky is shaped. It is ominous. Very ominous indeed. What's this about, Commander? You did call us here to discuss the quelling of all the nobles, didn't you? I can wait. There is a more pressing concern here that must be addressed. The first strike of that strange lightning, the one that drove Cleaver into a frenzy. It struck the night fell from the sky, did it not? It only seems natural to think that the two events might be linked in some way. Who or what are you really for? Don't try to pin this on me, you asswife. <laughs> I, I don't really know, guy. I didn't get any context to my backstory before the game started. Indeed. You came from the Rift, as did the Lightning. You're connected to these Frenzies, are you not? Do you think to gain our trust by quelling the Frenzies you yourself brought about? And having gained our trust, what then? What is it you're really after here? Hold on, Commander. There's nothing to suggest Fel has wronged us. Exactly. And besides, do you really think he's got the sort of fearsome power it'd take to make all of this happen? Let me ask you in turn. Can you prove beyond a doubt that he is free from guilt? Do you prove you didn't do it? This person, this stranger, appeared out of a rift in space-time. Who here can guarantee he is who what he says? Who here can guarantee he is here to be trusted? That's no one can do that. You're asking us to prove a negative. How is anyone supposed to prove the absence of all doubt? Come on, let's be reasonable. What is Phil supposed to do then? You'll be given the chance to investigate this latest disaster. Oh, really? I gotta go into this rift in space time? Thank you. Thank you for that. But not as a member of the Galaxy team. He remains a suspect unless he can clear his name. There are those in this village who cannot trust a stranger like you who thought this guy. It's just you. You are the only one who's doing this. And so I must ask you to leave. You are no longer welcome in the Galaxy team. Consider yourself banished from this village until you can explain why these calamities keep befalling our good people. No, until you've restored our world to its rightful state and proven your innocence beyond doubt. Is that clear, Silent? Yes, sir. How can you act so heartless? Don't you believe in Fel? Do not attempt to intervene on his behalf. I'll do what I must as a commander of the Galaxy Expedition Team. But I have not forgotten your deeds, or the unusual skill you have displayed. That's why I've chosen to let you walk out of here free rather than clap you in chains. It's... Oh, yeah, thank you. Thank you. I only get exiled for doing nothing instead of being imprisoned. You're to be expelled from the village? Why? Orders are orders. 
Sycophant. Let's go. This way. Well, this is a walk of shame if I've ever had one. Can it really be? It's not. I gave you guys Graveler, I gave you Mr. Mimes, Bidoof, I gave you everything. We can take it from here, man. I'm just a... However, the decision was mine to accept this stranger as a member of the Survey Corps. It is not right that I shall permanently escort him from the village into the field lights camp. I'll also see him off. As will I, naturally. I'll allow it. Then I'll mark you all down as bound for the field light camps. Safe travel. I can't believe the boss would do this. You were acting on his own orders when you quelled the frenzy nobles. Quite right. Moreover, even if you did happen to fall from the sky, this hardly gives you the power to turn it red. This is utterly intolerable, and I might add absolute, absurdly unscientific. As a man of science, I must fight with such logical thinking tooth and nail. You would not last in modern times, dude. <laughs> you must not. You only cause Phil more pain if you are driven as well for defending him. However, there are others who might offer help. You've been to the aid of both the Diamond Clan and the Pearl Clan. Of course, perhaps Adamant or Erda might take you in. I'm afraid they both already returned to their respective settlements. Perhaps you could try to get hold of Leon first. He's likely to be at Grand Tree Arena. Don't die alone out there. That's an order. Okay, so I can die as long as I'm not alone. Alright, murder suicide it is then. Thanks, Eileen. I wasn't sure you have all you need to complete the survey the commander has tasked you with. Tast? I'm not a member of the survey corps anymore, or the village. I got kicked out. I don't have to do shit. I might offer my advice. In this life, you will meet with both admiration and abuse from others. How others choose to view is the choice only they can make. You cannot make it for them. All that truly matters is that you hold firm in your own values. What did that dream I first shared with you on Freely Beach? Complete the Pokedex. That dream certainly won't come true without you. Well. This sucks. Alright, we'll do the rest of it in the next episode. Till then, bye bye